In 2008, paleontologist Paul Serino announced a remarkable find from the Sahara, where he had been looking for dinosaur bones. He found bones all right, but not the kind he was looking for. Serino had literally stumbled upon the largest known graveyard of Stone Age people, including this mother buried with her two children. 12,000 years ago, this skull-bleaching desert had been a lush, green lakeside oasis supporting a thriving culture and an abundance of wild game. Then the Earth's axis wobbled ever so slightly. The climate changed, the desert spread, and the culture died. Today, it is mainly human activity that causes the African deserts to spread. Overgrazing, slash and burn agriculture, deforestation, and overuse of groundwater are exacerbating climate change. If current trends continue, the continent might be able to feed only 25% of its population by 2025. Change is part of our history. It's certainly gonna be part of our future. And it's really incumbent upon us for our own survival or success as a species to be able to anticipate and adapt to those changes. And modern man is far from safe. Millions of the world's poorest populations in 2008 suffered severe food shortages as crops failed and food prices spiked. Widespread riots broke out in Haiti, where starving families resorted to eating mud cookies sold by vendors. The U.S. produces a large percentage of the corn that is consumed not just here locally but worldwide. Excessive drought, excessive rainfall, any of those factors that, that reduce your yields will then have an influence on that particular sector of the economy which then has a ripple effect on, on other parts of the agricultural economy as well. And an insidious new threat to the world's food supply is on the rise, a potentially disastrous disease. It's a wheat virus. Previously found only in East Africa, it is spread as far as Iran and threatens to push out into India and the rest of Asia. Such plagues could wipe out our ability to grow food on a large scale. It is with this in mind that scientists in Norway last year completed a new safeguard, the Doomsday Seed Vault. Buried deep into the side of an Arctic mountain, the new vault will house copies of seeds from all known varieties of food crops, keeping them in case they are needed to save a starving planet. But short of such a crisis, the human population showed no signs of shrinking in 2008, growing to an estimated 6.7 billion. Fortunately, human ingenuity is showing signs of expanding as quickly as our numbers. And in 2008, many of our greatest breakthroughs came as we grappled with ways to limit our impact on our Earth and survive.